South Down Harbor Tour. The boat you're on is a United States Coast Guard certified passenger carrying vessel. That means we have all of the life saving equipment on the boat that we need to safely conduct this. Again, everybody, once again, this is your captain, Captain Rick on the microphone. And I'm going to talk about the right-hand side of the boat from here down to the bridge. Once we come out from beneath the bridge, I'll talk about the left-hand side of the boat. We're in the deepest, widest part of the bay. This is known as the aircraft carrier turning basin. They use this part of the bay to maneuver our large Nimitz carriers on and off of their docks in front of us at North Island Naval Air Station. The bay is about two miles across, 60 feet deep. Over here to your right, those white buildings you see are the Coast Guard hangars at Coast Guard Sector San Diego. You can see the control tower at uh, San Diego's International Airport, Lindbergh Field. You can see the jet airliner that just took off. All of the land over there to the right is all Harbor Island, just on this side of uh, San Diego's International Airport. In front of us and coming up to the right here as I turn down south, going to be Coronado Island. The, fa the facility you're looking at is North Island Naval Air Station. It takes the United States Navy 1,092 feet long. Took that ship out of the water and stood it up on its end in the middle of the sea. It would be twice as tall as any building you can see. It's too big to put beneath the corner of the bridge. That's why it's not here at North Island Naval Air Station. 256 feet wide, 245 feet tall. Powered by two Westinghouse nuclear reactors. This power up uh, can power up a medium-sized city. 85 fixed wing aircraft on, on board and went out on deployment and 6,500 personnel. The ship in front of the side of the island, right on the beach, one of the top 10 best rated beaches in the United States. It's very beautiful, very historic, very scenic, absolutely free to go uh, over there and look around. So if you live here, have a good out if you're visiting, I suggest you. Be mindful of the speed of the wind going by, it's 25 miles an hour everywhere, and it's a good thing. Exactly over there. 
Systems Shipyard. This is one of three major ship repair facilities here in San Diego that does Navy contract work. The first structure you see is a large floating dry dock, the largest floating dry dock on the West Coast. Harley Burke Destroyer on this one. Nestled between the larger and smaller docks, a amphibious landing ship with troop carrier transports a land marine, hovercraft, landing craft, and helicopters. Another Harley Burke Destroyer and a smaller. Down at the south of the yard, a pair of the wall, and a littoral combat ship just south of the Burke. Charlie Burke's are the most famous of any Navy warship, from the 60 years old in service. They are considered to be the captain of the U.S. Navy. The littoral combat ships are tri hauled jet propelled vessels, used primarily for anti submarine warfare purposes. They're also used with special combat units like the Navy SEAL. Next, we're coming up to NASCO's shipyard. NASCO stands for National Steel and Shipbuilding Company. They actually build ships here. It's the only crew ship building yard on the West Coast. Currently, an already burnt destroyer at NASCO dry dock, but you can't really see it when it's turned up with white tarp. The tarp is used to contain the construction. NASCO is currently building five boilers, one of which will be launched and it's been finished out on the hot side. See they don't have fuel hoses hanging around the center part of the room. Doesn't even have its anchors or life rafts or anything like that. So we're going to put You look at the openings on the back of the littoral ships, the lower opening is where they uh, launch and recover speedboats for use with the Navy SEALs. Inspect the superstructure. You can see how the top of it angles inward. That's the starting of the sloping on the technology for subsequent later operations. And then I'm going to slow the boat down. You're going to uh, look at two of the most unusual looking warships you've ever seen in your life. Number 1000 and 1001. These are both Zumwalt class guided missile destroyers. The newest class of guided missile destroyer in the Navy. There's only three of these in existence. Two of the three are based here in San Diego. No right angles on the ship, no lines perpendicular to the water. No masts or antennas, they're even coated with a radar absorbing material, giving them the smallest radar signature of any U.S. Navy warship. They carry 70 guided missiles housed in the hull of the ship. The strange boxes up on the foredeck of the ship house a new electromagnetic cannon system called a railgun. The only ships to deploy such technology. 
All right, we've just about come to an end of the Naval Station. I'm going to make a right-hand U-turn to get us pointed back up the bay. But I am going to continue to talk about the left-hand side of the boat. The next, uh, the next large cement pier that you'll see coming into view is the National City Marine Terminal. They use that facility to unload cars and trucks being imported into the United States. 20% of the automobiles are unloaded there. The end of the deep water port, no large ships can go any further south. San Diego Bay comes to a dead end, another three miles. There's no entrance or exit to the bay that way. That hillside down in the distance is Tijuana, Mexico, our neighbor to the south, about five miles from here. As I push the boat to the north, if you look to the left across the bay, you'll see a long finger of land. That finger of land is called the Silver Strand Peninsula. The finger of land that connects Coronado to Imperial Beach, seven miles from Coronado. It's only a half mile wide in the Pacific Ocean, it's directly on the other side. The hillside you see off in the distance beyond Coronado and the Silver Strand is Point Loma. The left hand edge of that hill is the entrance to the bay. It's also the southwest most tip of the bay.
Northwood No. 41, the USS Midway Aircraft Carrier Museum. USS Midway was built and launched at the end of World War II by the Civil Service Map. It's actually launched a little after the war. It served in Vietnam when the first Persian Gulf War had been formed. In fact, it was the flagship for the U.S. Fleet Four Desert Storm. And after that, it was decommissioned and retired. It was put up for auction in San Diego for the bidding for its more important years of the museum. It's been raised the fourth best museum in the United States by the Travel Zoo and Travel Magazine, the U.S. Midway Museum, the San Diego Zoo, or San Diego's top two tourist attractions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that winds up our South Bend Harbor Tour. So if this is the end of your one or two hours with us, this is going to be your point of departure. If you bought a two-hour ticket, just stay on the boat. You don't have to do anything. We'll be in for about 15 minutes, and then we will depart for the north end of the San Diego Bay and hopefully see some California sea lions. So finally, in closing, folks, I hope you really enjoyed your tour. I hope you learned some new fun-filled facts about the city and bay. I hope you had a great time.